the Hall of Fame inductee ceremonies here at Big Oak Stadium. Our first inductee into the Graham County Hall of Fame is Mr. Scott Odom. Mr. Scott Odom is sick and not able to be with us this evening. He is the award, his award will be received by his sons, Ty and Trey. No matter which side of the ball he was on, Scott Odom made an impact for the Robinsville Black Knights. A member of the 1977, 1979, 1980 state championship football teams, Odom had 55 receptions for 820 yards, 21 yards as a tight end, which included 10 touchdowns and seven two-point conversions. His defensive impact was felt by teams far and wide as Odom led Robinsville in tackles during both the 1979 and 1980 state title games. He was named the 1980 Defensive Player of the Year, All Smoky Mountain Conference, and received an honorable mention to All Western North Carolina in football. He received a full scholarship to play tight end for Western Carolina University Catamounts, where he started as a true freshman during the 1981 season at the age of 17. My best memories of all string the greatest history. Reagan, Perkins, Lauder, McMonagall, Booty, and Sal. Those are times I will cherish forever, over recall. I was fortunate to play on great teams that won three state titles. We were just trying to uphold the legacy that was established by the tough men who played the game before us. A standout in four sports, football, basketball, track and, track and field, and baseball, Odom also won the MVP award for the 1980 Black Knights baseball season. Odom has since relocated to Warner Robins, Georgia, where he currently resides with his wife, Candy, as well as their two sons, Kai and Trey. Odom has worked in the aerospace industry for 33 years and is a production supervisor with Carbon Aerospace. Like my parents, my greatest joy has been chasing my kids across fields, courts, and courses as they pursue their dreams, Odom said. May God bless the Black Knights. As a huge part of who I am, I was determined by the lessons I learned under the Big Oaks. I want to personally thank Coach Bergen Edwards for the time he invested in me and the difference he made in my life. That is Scott Odom receiving his award, Trey, and Ty, his sons, on behalf of him and inductee into the Grand County Sports Hall of Fame. Scott Odom. Our second inductee into the Graham County Sports Hall of Fame this evening was Mr. Todd Odom. Adversity was not going to define Todd Odom's future. Rather, it would be a combination of greedy determination and rich examples that folded Odom into one of the most successful coaches in Robinsville High School history. Despite becoming the amputee, the result of a horrific motorcycle accident at the age of 15, Odom went on to wrestle, play football, and even compete in track and field while at Robinsville. He was an all-conference grappler, winning the 1991 Smoky Mountain Conference Tournament's all most outstanding wrestler distinction after developing the 170 one film weight class. Odom was also a member of the 1992 Conference Dual and Tournament Championship teams. But his legacy with the Knights will forever lie in his post high school pursuits. While Odom coached the middle school wrestling team for two years and was the receivers coach for the Black Knights football team for four years, he retired as head coach of the varsity wrestling program after the 2021-22 season with a coaching record of 374 wins against 147 losses. He was 359 and 139 at Robinsville after cutting his teeth coaching at Smoky Mountain High School in Silva. Odom's teams went 115 and 4 in Smoky Mountain Conference Fuels. Under his watch, the Black Knights built a wrestling dynasty that included 16 conference dual team titles, 15 conference tournament crowns, four Western Regional Championships, five state finals appearances, and one dual team state championship in 2017. Odom also won Conference Coach of the Year honor 16 times, was the Asheville Citizen Times Western North Carolina Coach of the Year on four different occasions, 2008, 2017, 2018, and 2019. Twice named the North Carolina High School Athletic Association's 1A Coach of the Year, 2008 and 2017. Recognized as the state's National Federation of High School Coach of the Year in 2017 and selected as head of coach of the North Carolina All-Star Team in 2019 and 2022. All told, Odom coached 96 state qualifiers, 43 state placers, and 21 state champions. 
Being in the corner for any of the individual state champions, I had the privilege to coach, was absolutely special and will always be something I hold dear and hide in my mind, Odom says. However, just to be in the Robinsville High School gym and witness the explosion of energy when they slapped the man in the last match to win the state dual team title in 2017 will never be replicated or exceeded in Robinsville sports history. Odom is married to Susan Crow, and together their children, Logan, Ivy, Ainsley, Kyle, Jaden, DJ Irvin, and a ton of other adopted sons who keep in contact with him, which he calls his guys. Odom is also the proud grandfather of Riley, Olivia, Xander, and Sophia. He, was, he has been in the insurance industry for 18 years, currently serving as the agency manager for the Grand County Farm Bureau. I must thank Coach Richie Trammell for introducing me to the sport of wrestling because it truly saved my life, said Owen. His impact on my life is beyond measure, and I wouldn't be here today without him recruiting me to be a part of his team. Being a part of the bill is one of the greatest honors I've ever had in my life. God bless the bill, and God bless the Black Knights. Coach Todd Odom, our second inductee into the Grand County Sports Hall of Fame. Inducting into the Grand County Sports Hall of Fame is Mr. Ronnie Postel. Ronnie Postel is a 1958 graduate of Robinsville High School, a three-sport letterman through the Blue Devils. On the baseball diamond, Postel manned center field before transitioning to shortstop. He batted 320 during the 1957 campaign, but missed out on his senior season because the Smoky Mountain Conference did not have baseball that year. His junior and senior seasons as a basketball player included a nod in the all-conference team in 1958. As a forward, he averaged 25 points a game, including one game where he scored 48 points against Andrews before the three-point line even existed. Bodil Walsh was both his basketball and football coach, and it was in the latter that Postel arguably excelled the most. Voted to be the team's captain in 1957, his all-conference selection during his senior year was for his work of halfback. Though he was not, he was no slouch as a safety on defense. Of note, Postel intercepted a pass in the then 2A Bryson City, which sealed the Blue Devils' first win over Bryson City in 10 years. Robinsville also won its first ever Smoky Mountain Conference title in 1957, clinching it with a win over Hayesville. The Blue Devils advanced to the postseason and were paired against the Marshall Tornadoes, champions of the Skyline Conference and winners of 10 in a row. The actual Citizen Times recap of the game said that Postel was one of the fastest and most deceptive runners seen this season all season, and later added that Postel, quote, was one of the finest runners to perform in the Smoky Mountain Conference this year. Marshall won the game 7-0, ending the Devils' magical season at a mark of 7-3. Postel went on to attend Mississippi State University and later the University of Southern Mississippi. His father, William Lonnell Postel Sr., was an aviator in the U.S. Navy, and as a result, Lonnie and his family moved frequently. He landed in Robinsville in 1956, where he lived with his grandmother, Ruth Postel, and found both stability and fulfillment in sports. Never one to quit, Postel overcame his smaller stature with speed and a tenacious attitude for competition. Ronnie married Melba Langston and the Robinsville High School homecoming queen in 1960, the following year in 1961. The couple has now been married for over 60 years. Together they have one son, Larry, who serves as the town manager of Greensboro, Georgia. Ronnie retired from Ford Motor Company in Atlanta after a 30-year career in 1996. Ronnie and Melba moved back to Grand County in 1998, where they have remained since. The couple attends Lone Oak Baptist Church. Ronnie Postel our inductee into the Grand County Sports Hall of Fame. Wow. This evening we have two teams that will be inducted into the Grand County Sports Hall of Fame. First is the 1982 Robinsville High School football team. To reach the mountain top for the fourth straight year, Robinsville persevered through some obstacles during the 1982 season. The Black Knights went 11-2 overall, which included season-opening victories over Swain County and Murphy. After a 4-0 start, Robins fell in back-to-back -back games, an 8-7 heartbreaker against Hazel and a 10-7 loss against Franklin. Refusing to linger on the defeats, Robinsville ran the table from that point on, including a resounding 28-0 shutout against Hazel to avenge the loss. 
Darren Shooter fails the end zone on three different chances to aid the call. In the playoffs, the Knights have beaten Gosden 6 0, Edneville 41 20, and Bath in the state championship game 21 6. Scott Anderson had a 57 yard interception return against Rosman, while Bucky Brown powered through an injured ankle for a pair of rushing touchdowns in the first half of a bloody game against Edneville. The patented Black Knight score was on full display in the title game. Anderson sacked Pirates quarterback Jeff Cooten on the fourth down at the Robinsville one yard line. In the closing moments, Freddie Tisadeski recovered a fumble, and Ronnie Williams soon ran the final Knights touchdown with 135 left in the game to seal the deal. Brown rushed 21 times for 130. 36 yards gets back. I really just, I really don't know why we have been so successful. Head coach Bob Calvin told the Glam Star after the state game. Just the fact that the players look up to the teams before them, they get up for the games because they want to do as well. The 1982 Robinson High School Black Knights football team. Final inductees this evening into the Graham County Sports Hall of Fame is the 1983 Robinsville High School football team. The end of the five-year state championship streak to Robinsville played out on similar fashion as the year before. The 1983 Black Knights once again win 11 and 2, and their only blemishes coming in a 70 to 20 loss to Silver Webster and a slim 22 to 21 loss at Andrews. Once again, Robinsville avenged its only loss to a conference team by defeating the Wildcats in the regular season finale, 13 to 6. The Knights defeated Tryon of the first round of the postseason, 21-12, before running into the Rosman Tigers in the second round. In a game many recall as one of the greatest games ever played, Robinsville prevailed after four overtime periods, 34-33. to Darren Schuler connected with Rex Smith for the go-ahead touchdown. Terry Winfrey's point after kick proved crucial as the Tigers went on to score on the next chance, but the Black Knights halted Rosman's two-point conversion attempt to win the battle. A 28-6 win over Creswell wrapped up Robinsville's 11th state championship in a 14-year period. Mark Smith recorded a 43-yard touch, rushing touchdown to jumpstart the, night, jumpstart the night's offense. Winfrey later entered the end zone three times to wrap up the 1-8 round. The 1983 Robinsville High School football team State champions, our final inductees into the Graham County Sports Hall of Fame this evening. All right, Black Knight fans, let's get to our feet. Let's welcome these inductees into the Graham County Sports Hall of Fame. Mr. Scott Odom, Coach Scott Odom, Mr. Ronnie Postel, the 1982 and the 1983 Robbinsville High School football teams.